Good morning grade fours. So today I'm going to do a um, topic about NST and it's about raw and manufactured materials. So we have spoken about matter that is everything around us. So matter is everything that we see, smell, hear or feel. That is everything. And we've spoken about solids, liquids and gases. So today we're going to look at materials. Okay. So materials are also things that we see around us. Um, it's everything that we look at, feel, touch, hear, smell. And there's also a lot of detail in materials. So for example, we get raw materials and we also get manufactured materials. Whoa, what does manufactured mean? So manufactured means a material that has changed into something it's no longer in its raw state it's now in made into a manufactured material okay it's changed and um, it's now man-made it's unnatural okay so raw means something that hasn't been changed it hasn't been uh, processed it hasn't been touched it is in its most natural state okay so think of something raw right now so um, sand dirt plants trees everything that is natural that met that humans cannot make okay so we're going to take a look at a few raw materials and how they can be used to make manufactured materials meaning unnatural materials man-made okay so i want you to take a look at this tree i'm not outside so we're going to use this fake one so trees have wood or trees are wood actually and what can we make with wood wood we can use to make paper yeah it's crumpled up now but you get the idea right so wood has to go through a process in order to make a human-made product like this. We don't get this out um, in nature. It doesn't just grow. It doesn't just appear in nature. We have to make it and humans make it using a raw material like wood. Okay, another example is if I have sand here in, my, in the palm of my hand and I use that raw material, sand, Okay, that we find also from earth and it goes through a process of heating and melting and molding then I get a human made product like this which is gloss okay so manufactured raw manufactured raw okay another example is clay so you've worked with clay and art before right so clay is also something that I get from earth underground it's a wet clammy substance material substance means material and I can use that that's the raw material and once I mold it, it's very flexible I can make it into any shape that I want you also see how potters make um, objects with clay right they have a rotation device and they make these different forms um, and shapes so that's using the raw clay from underground goes through a process of heating baking molding and then i get an object like Ta -da! this okay so this is actually made from clay yes i know it's not your typical um clay mug jug plate pot um or dish but it is a form um of of something that's made from clay this is called a ceramic okay if you can say it, ceramic and ceramics we also find in our bathrooms like our sinks and our tubs and yeah so that's made from clay so it has to go through a process in order to get this hard and in this type of shape okay then another raw material is coal and oil so coal we know is that rocky black material that we get from earth it's also comes from plants and trees lived millions of years ago that's how coal is formed we can use that um, to make certain products like plastic and um, other products as well and oil so not the uh, 
olive oil that you have in the kitchen, but the oil coming from underground. It's that black, dark liquid that we use in our cars to drive, to make petrol, and also we can use pay, uh, we can use oil to make paint. So we can use it on our walls, in our homes, or on a canvas or a picture when we're painting. That comes from oil from underground and also coal that we also get from earth. So that's very interesting as well. And coal and oil also make plastic. So Tupperware that you have at home, that is also made from coal and plastic. But the thing is, that's the raw material, coal and oil, but it has to go through a process of making these products. So then these are man-made, unnatural. Okay, they're not natural anymore. So plastic we use every day. And long ago, people didn't have plastic. They had wooden dishes or uh, clay dishes. But now, life is much easier with plastic um, containers and such. And these are made from coal and oil. Natural objects or materials made into man-made materials. Okay. And another one is animal skin. So think of sheep on the farm. They are used for what? What can they make? They can make boo, wool or yarn. Okay. So their skin will be um, taken off or sheared off and that goes into a process. The wool gets washed because it's not very clean because they live in the, um, on the farm and it gets cleaned, it goes through a process, it's spun into a very, very thin thread like you can see here and then it's rolled up into this product. So this product we can't get out of nature, right? It has to be made. Okay, we make it. We, humans, we make it. But we take a raw product from nature in order to make this manufactured product. Okay, so manufactured means to change it into something else from its raw state into an unnatural state. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've taken, oh, forgot just one more. Um, I don't have a leather object right here now, but just imagine I'm holding a leather wallet in my hand. If you have a leather object, even better. So where does that leather come from? Who can tell me where leather comes from? We can't just make it or make it appear. It comes from something natural. It comes from animal skin. Okay, so different animals can be used. Their skins, their hides can be used to make products, leather products. So shoes, jackets, wallets, handbags, you name it. So that also goes through a process and we can make lots of products with them. Today they're very expensive. Long ago wasn't so expensive because that was the, the, the clothes and the things that people had. They didn't have plastic and nylon and polyester that was made from coal and oil. They didn't have the technology that we today have to make those things. So now leather is actually seen as a very expensive product. Okay, so that's also for another time why leather is now so expensive compared to long ago. But I hope you do now see the difference between raw and manufactured materials. So raw is what again? It's what you find in nature. Um, it's what you find from the earth and it hasn't been processed yet, hasn't been touched yet. It's in its most natural state. What is manuf manufactured materials? It's when you take a raw material and change it into a unnatural material. So it's man-made, it's processed, it's touched, it's changed, it's now something else from its raw state. So do you understand what I'm telling you? I hope you do. And you're also going to do an activity um, about raw and manufactured materials. We're going to have to look at the manufactured materials and say which raw materials were used to make them. So like a plastic spoon or a plastic ball or a nylon night dress that you wear uh, to a party, uh, a glass vase or a ceramic tile. 
So you can tell me what plastic spoons are made from. Let's think again. Coal and oil were, were used to make plastic. Uh, what is used to make a ceramic tile? Remember ceramic is this. And what is used to make ceramics? Clay. And a nylon um, night dress that you wear to a party, nylon, is not natural. It's made from something. It's a fabric. Fabrics are also made from coal and oil. Okay, so that's what the activity is about, just to revise what comes from raw materials, what can you make from raw materials, and how manufactured materials are made. So which raw materials do you use to make them? Okay, thank you Great Force for your time. I hope this makes more sense to you now. And yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.